one last cool thing about this that I didn't realize. So they compared the glyco the glycogag sequence of these viruses. This is this kind of blows me away. Here's this here's the conclusion. The glycogag leader of XMRV is a hundred percent match with a one two nine laboratory mouse strain. One hundred percent with a lab mouse. And the glycogag of the current the alter sequence matches C fifty seven black mice, ninety nine percent. Now I don't know how different wild mice are, but I bet they are different more different than a hundred percent. Right? They don't have a hundred percent identity with glycogag. So does this mean the origin were, was laboratory infections? Whoa. Mm. Or the 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 lab I don't know. Maybe the virus is the same in wild mice as in lab mice. It seems unlikely to me. So, well, that ought to spawn a whole bunch of research in that direction. Yeah, you see what I'm saying, right? right I don't, yeah. I, yeah. I mean, maybe the glycogag is too short to make any determinations. I don't know. But I thought that was quite interesting. And that, I is, I, that is mighty odd. I had missed that. Now, reading now Steve, yeah, Go missed Steve that Goff too. has told me that you know most of the work on these murine viruses is done, in fact, with laboratory strains of mice. So maybe people just haven't looked enough. Maybe there are very similar viruses out right. there in wild you need mice. need to go out and get a bunch of wild mice. Hey, right. I wonder who's doing that. Ah. <laughs> now you got another project, Vincent. Yeah. Well, I got enough to handle, but people want samples. They can have them. Steve. Give them to Steve. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. You might want them. Okay. Is that enough on that, guys? Yeah, sure. That's great.